world. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm is live right now. She's in downtown Decatur. And Rebecca, the family wants a meeting with investigators. That's right, Gravier and Rob. The news conference was held right outside the old DeKalb County Courthouse, and the family says they haven't gotten any direct contact from investigators in this case, and they says they say it's time for a change. Manuel has a heart full of loss for people, animals, and the trees. The parents of Manuel Paez Tehran told reporters Manuel graduated magna cum laude from Florida State University. Manuel was the first environmental that has given his life for his ideals in the United States of America. They, along with their attorneys, told reporters an independent autopsy showed the 26-year-old was shot more than 12 times. According to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, state troopers were conducting a clearing operation January 18th near the training center site when they came across Tehran and other activists camped in the woods. They say Tehran, without warning, shot a trooper and that other troopers returned fire, killing Tehran. At last check, that trooper was still in the hospital. The GBI later said the bullet that struck the trooper came from the gun found at the scene and that Tehran had purchased that gun a couple of years ago. The GBI said there's no body cam video of the shooting, so the attorneys are asking investigators to release any drone or chopper video or audio of the shooting that might exist. I also ask any officers brave enough to contact my lawyers with any and all information. Stop just following orders. Tehran's brother, Daniel Paez. There was a little bit of a narrative that the cops had to fear re retribution from the forest defenders, which I say with love, they're all a bunch of tree nerds, okay? Now, the lawyers for the family are asking that any witnesses to the shooting come forward. Those, uh, some of those witnesses are charged with domestic terrorism, among other charges, so the lawyers believe they're afraid to come forward. I've asked for a statement from the GBI, their response to today's news conference. So far, I have not heard back. Live in Decatur, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First. Rebecca, thank you.